Okay, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to plastic weld for the first time. It's my first time as well, so you'll see as I do it. If you're good enough to be able to do DIY stuff, I think you will be fine. I've not done metal welding before either, so this is my first time welding full stop. What you need to do is the part we're using here is a scooter fairing and the tab is broken off. So I'm going to weld back on the tab. So the first thing to do is clamp down the piece of work you're doing so it doesn't move around. Make sure the part fits where you're putting it and it's the right tab for the right location. I've got a few of these to fix. And looking at this, it's fitting nicely. However, there are some gaps in the bottom of the connection points. So what I decided to do was uh, take the part that I'm going to be welding on using a cable tie and a non normal solder iron. I basically melted the cable tie to the bottom of the piece I'm going to attach. So I'm basically got some um, plastic there to play with. Um, that way I don't end up ruining the original plastic piece by melting it and getting it deform deforming it. So here I'm putting a bit of uh, weld, you could call it, plastic on the pieces that are going to stick. And then I'll use these to stick to the original piece. So take your time, make sure you've got a fan going on in the background to push the fumes out the way and you're in a well ventilated area because it stinks. Um, so here you'll see I've added the plastic on it. Now what I'm doing is reheating it so it's slightly warm and sticky again. I've also put some down on the spot where I'm sticking on. So you'll see I'm pushing it, positioning it there um, and using my solder island just to heat the position where it's going to be going and making a little well because we are going to be tack welding another, well actually strengthening it a bit more. So you'll see here, I'm just finding the highs and lows and making it match to the bit I want it. Just enough so that it holds it in position so I can put some proper uh, plastic on it and weld it in shape. So here now it fits better. Now I'm just doing little spots and pulling along to make it smooth and not be too brittle. So you'll see that's held in place now, whereas before it was kept falling over. Now at this point, we can use a cable tie and the solder iron. I'm using a, a chisel bit here with a flat on the bottom as well, so I can use it to rub it down. So you're basically melting little spots and dropping little droplets onto each side, just as a like a spot weld type situation. And then I'll add some more to strengthen it on both sides. So the idea of this is the main thing that's going to get to you is that stench. This, so I should have worn a mask really. So you should be wearing a mask um, and get a well ventilated area like I've said before. So here you'll see I've got little bubbles dropping down and those are going to strengthen this. Um, and yeah, I was quite surprised once I finished, it was actually quite solid in terms of like I moved it about and stuff and the whole body work moved and you didn't you weren't able to see that actually, wait a minute, that's a, a point that was um, damaged. If you wanted it to look smoother, you can end up sanding it down and make it smoother. I've got a few of these to do, so I'll show you a few more videos of different situations. This is a tab, so it's a straightforward one.